a restriction enzyme is added to the samples to be compared. The enzyme cuts the DNA into smaller fragments. The DNA fragments are placed on an electrophoretic gel. When an electric current is applied to the gel, the DNA fragments migrate through the gel toward the positively charged pole. The smaller the fragment, the faster it will migrate. After a set time, researchers identify fragments of different lengths by staining the gel or by specifically highlighting fragments that contain tandem repeats. Now consider this imaginary gel. The first lane contains DNA from a hair found at a crime scene. The other lanes contain DNA from five suspects. Given what you have learned about gel electrophoresis,